How long you sleep really determines your longevity. It's been found that people who sleep less than 6 hours per night have up to 15% increased risk of mortality. But the quality of your sleep matters a lot more than the quantity. There are many things you can do to improve the quality of your sleep, such as exercising, eating a clean diet, and getting enough sunlight exposure. All of those things increase your body's ability to fall asleep faster and reduce the time it takes you to fall asleep. But when it comes to the longevity benefits of sleep, then a lot of it is determined by your melatonin production. Melatonin is often called the sleep hormone, but melatonin is a lot more than that. In fact, I think that melatonin is the number one anti-aging and longevity hormone that your body has. It's actually the most powerful antioxidant your body has. The problem is that with age, you see a decrease in your melatonin production. Older people produce significantly less melatonin than children and teenagers, or even adults in their 20s and 30s. Melatonin production peaks during the tanner stage of puberty and then slowly begins to decline, starting in your late 20s. Because of decreased melatonin, seniors wake up more frequently, fall asleep slower, and spend less time in deep and REM sleep. This may be implicated in the development of neurodegeneration and other ailments. So there is a trend between the drop in melatonin production and the accumulation of age-related diseases that usually starts to happen around your 40s and 50s. Once your melatonin levels go down, then your body doesn't have enough antioxidant defense to repair itself. That's why the quality of your sleep goes down with age. With age, you see a decrease in sleep quality and quantity, characterized by reduced sleep efficiency, increased sleep fragmentation, more awakenings, and increased time it takes to fall asleep. More specifically, there's a decrease in slow-wave sleep, also called deep sleep and REM sleep, which are both critical stages of sleep for repairing the body and brain. Moderate to severe sleep disturbances are linked to faster development of multimorbidities in the elderly. Declining sleep quality accelerates the development of all the hallmarks of aging and biological aging. Basically, when your sleep quality goes down, then you start to age much faster because your body can't repair itself that much. You start to develop the comorbidities much faster, like high blood pressure, high blood sugar levels, high triglycerides, and just weight gain as well. Now, the reason why sleep quality goes down with age is because of damage to the circadian clock system inside your brain. This results in the decreased melatonin production and you lose a lot of the health benefits and longevity benefits of melatonin. So this decrease in melatonin production and this decrease in sleep quality is not a good thing. <laughs> it's something that happens because of aging and because of age-related decline. If you could choose, then you would obviously want to maintain it. You would want to maintain the higher melatonin production and maintain higher sleep quality and sleep duration because that's going to slow down the speed of aging. Unfortunately, the natural aging process decreases your melatonin production and it decreases your sleep quality. If you want to increase your health span and slow down aging, then you have to make sure that you maintain a higher sleep quality and maintain higher melatonin production. The key enzyme that has been found to maintain higher melatonin production and maintain the robustness of your circadian clocks is NAD, also called nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. NAD is found in all living cells and it's important for DNA repair, energy production, antioxidant defense, and neuroprotection. Coincidentally, NAD levels also decline with age, which explains why there's a decrease in circadian function and melatonin. Low NAD levels are seen to be at the core of the hallmarks of aging. There are many ways to maintain NAD production. Exercise, intermittent fasting, calorie restriction, and eating a diet high in polyphenols helps to increase your NAD production. But a key aspect of it is maintaining circadian rhythm alignment. You want to get exposed to natural sunlight in the morning, but you want to block out artificial light before bed because it's going to inhibit melatonin melatonin production. Blue and green wavelengths from technology and artificial light suppress melatonin and one great way to mitigate against that is to use blue blocking glasses. These blue blocking glasses help to filter out the artificial light and still enable your body to produce melatonin. Before taking any melatonin supplements, I recommend using blue blocking glasses because it's the most natural way to maintain higher melatonin production and it doesn't matter how much melatonin you take as a supplement if you still are exposed to artificial light before bed. The brand of blue blockers that I recommend use lenses that specifically filter out the wavelengths of light that inhibit melatonin. You can try them out at bondcharge.com forward slash seamlund and use the code seam for a 15% discount. Another way to fill the gap between natural melatonin production that goes down with age and what's optimal for longevity is to microdose some melatonin. There is evidence showing that melatonin supplementation before bed can help you to fall asleep faster and get more deep sleep, but it also increases total sleep duration and sleep quality. A 2021 review of 23 studies among people with sleep disorders 
found that melatonin decreased sleep disturbances while increasing total sleep time and quality. However, I'm not really interested in using melatonin for sleep because I sleep very well and I'm already young. But what I am interested in is the anti-inflammatory and antioxidant benefits of melatonin. Melatonin supplementation has been seen to improve risk factors of cardiometabolic health such as lipids, blood sugar, blood pressure and endothelial function. The pineal gland makes around 0.1 to 0.9 milligrams of melatonin per day depending on age and health status. Younger people, especially in their teenage years, make a lot more melatonin, up to 1 milligram. The elderly people in their 60s and 70s make only around 0.1 milligram per night. That's why I like to take around 0.3 milligrams of melatonin every night, like a small microdose, to just gain some of the health benefits of melatonin. Not necessarily for the sleep, but for the other antioxidant and longevity benefits. There's also no fear that it's going to suppress natural melatonin production, as doses up to 50 milligrams a day haven't been shown to do so. So overall, it's a good idea to maintain natural melatonin production, but I think that a small microdose of melatonin, like 0.3 milligrams, is also a viable strategy for longevity, and especially at the age of 50 and 60. To sum it up, the first and obvious step is to maintain a healthy lifestyle that would also maintain the robustness of your circadian clock system. If you are physically active, you don't overeat calories, you have good health, then your NAD levels will be higher, which then maintains the function of your circadian clock system. If you're overweight, if you have some other metabolic disorders and comorbidities, then your NAD levels are going to be lower and your circadian clock system ages much faster. This in turn will also age and accelerate the decline in your melatonin production. If you are a healthy individual then you still want to maintain circadian rhythm alignment and the key aspect of this is to block out artificial blue light in the evening. Using different kinds of filtering technologies, blue blocking glasses and dimmer light bulbs is a very convenient and an effective way to maintain higher melatonin production in the evening. And lastly taking a microdose of melatonin is also a viable strategy to fill the gap between what's optimal for melatonin production and how much melatonin you produce in adulthood. If you're older, then you actually need a lot more melatonin than when you're younger, so that you would still maintain higher sleep quality and higher sleep duration. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.